earlier this month, Robert Kennedy Jr. reached out to the Kamala Harris campaign, to Kamala, and wanted in exchange for his endorsement, if indeed he ended up dropping out, a position within her administration, if she wins. Kamala Harris did not respond, did not uh, go into some negotiation with a madman, with a vaccine denier, with a 9-11 truther, with a wild conspiracy theorist to make some deal to put him in her administration. Ignored the shit out of him, as well she should have. So what did he do? He went to Donald Trump and made the same offer, which apparently was accepted. Now you've got J.D. Vance running around saying that we're, ha we're pleased to have the Kennedy Democrats supporting our campaign. <laughs> they got a ah, Kennedy, a ah, Kennedy, a single one. They don't have the Kennedys. They don't have Kennedy Democrats. And to prove this, um, in the LA Times, Max Kennedy, Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s brother, wrote a scathing op-ed Absolutely, to, to say distancing himself from his brother is, to put it mildly, it is an absolute um, tour de force on how to, to hammer away at someone who is wrong and dangerous, and he calls all these things out. Here, here's the headline. Opinion, ignore my brother Bobby, Max Kennedy says. I think often about my father and how he might have viewed the politics of our time. I'm not sure what he would have thought about TikTok or AI, but this much I know for sure, he would have despised Donald Trump. Despised. This is accurate. Some would say harsh language. But if you look at history and you look at who Robert F. Kennedy was, you know that he was a fighter for justice. He was an attorney general. He, 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 he was a man who was anti-racist at a time when the norm was vile state-instituted racism. Max continues here. Trump was exactly the kind of arrogant, entitled bully my father used to prosecute. Robert F. Kennedy's life was dedicated to promoting the safety, security, and happiness of the American people. That is why he would have so admired another former prosecutor, Kamala Harris. Her career, like his, has been all about decency, dignity, equality, democracy, and justice for all. Trump is the enemy of all of that. The only thing he seems to be for is himself and, disturbingly, autocrats such as Vladimir Putin, whom my father would have regarded as an existential threat to our country. Yet my brother now endorses Trump to pledge allegiance to Trump, a man who demonstrates no adherence to our family's values, is inconceivable to me. Now, I'm not going to read this entire thing, uh, but I do want to go through this section where he lays out what the record is. Uh, the, the stark juxtaposition between his father, Robert F. Kennedy. This isn't a distant cousin. This is the son of Robert F. Kennedy. He doesn't have the junior moniker because he's not the firstborn. But this is a man who knows, like the rest of the Kennedy family, the danger that is Donald Trump and the stark contrast between the politics of the Kennedy family and Donald Trump. Here's the record. My father was an anti-racist who joined the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. in common cause and forged a powerful bond with African Americans everywhere he went in 1968. Donald Trump is a lifelong racist whose entire career has been shaped by his dislike of people with a different skin color. My father, Robert F. Kennedy, believed in expanding legal immigration because he came from an immigrant family and knew how much talent and drive hardworking families bring if we open our doors to them. Donald Trump stirs up hatred of immigrants whom he mischaracterizes as criminals and drug addicts. My father believed in the rule of law as a prosecutor and as the attorney general of these United States. Donald Trump 
has contempt for the law, as evidenced by his attempts to overthrow the 2020 election and his ongoing legal struggles. He is the first felon to run as a serious candidate for the presidency. My father believed in bringing Americans together. He said, quote, I don't think that we have to shoot at each other, to beat each other, to curse at each other and criticize each other. I think that we can do better in this country. Donald Trump's entire campaign is about stoking division. My father loved the priceless inheritance of our land and water and surely was an environmentalist in his way, even if the term did not catch on until later. It feels especially hypocritical that Bobby, a genuine environmentalist, has thrown in with the most anti-environmental president in our history who promises to drill baby drill if elected. And finally here, my father was against the mindless menace of gun violence. Donald Trump is against any meaningful form of, of regulating guns and then again, I guess not ending. Here we go. This is it. My father believed in democracy. Donald Trump does not. And my father believed in truth. And of course, Donald Trump does not. Uh, listen, this is a, a excoriating on the part of the Kennedy family. This is just one notch uh, of their family trying to beat back the, the reputation that their family has, trying to beat back at uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. using that. The, the, their name as some sort of currency in this, you, weaponizing the Kennedy name in an effort to try to get a, a wannabe autocrat like Donald Trump elected. Scary times. I, I did a video uh, upon coming back from Chicago uh, on Saturday of the rally meeting of Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and Donald, Donald Trump. And uh, let me tell you, um, I hope and I really do think that people are going to see this for what it is, a, just a naked uh, power grab on the part of RFK, someone who wants to stay relevant, but also, and more importantly and more dangerously, wants to be in power, wants to be the Secretary of Health and Human Services or whatever. It is dangerous to have a kook, a man missing part of his brain because it was eaten by a worm, and who knows? how he got the worm. We're now finding out about him desecrating corpses of animals, whales and bears and dogs. Who, who else knows? He is a maniac, a unique maniac on the American political stage. And he, of course, has sidled up to Donald Trump, proving he has no loyalty to ideology because he made the same offer to Kamala Harris that he did Donald Trump. Have, had Kamala jettisoned her principles and decided, yeah, let, let's do this, he would be right now waiting for his position in a Kamala Harris uh, administration, having lent his support and endorsement to her. He is bereft of principle. He is absolutely just a grifter and a charlatan like the man he ended up endorsing, Donald Trump. Uh, what do you think? I'd love to know. You can leave a comment below. That would be fantastic. It'll trick the algorithm. Trick. That's a little harsh. <laughs> uh, it'll tell YouTube, trigger YouTube, uh, communicate to YouTube that this is a video that needs to be shared with others, and I would appreciate it. You can also call, leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. And of course, you can email me, as always, daily at dollamore.com. Please consider becoming a channel member for $1.99 a month. Click the join button below. Go over to my Patreon page if that's the, uh, your preferred method of supporting creators. Patreon.com slash I Doubt It Podcast. I'm all over the internet. At, uh, at Dollamore. I almost said at I Doubt It Podcast, but that's my podcast Twitter. That's not mine. Uh, it's mine, but it's the podcast. Anyway, it's early in the morning. I got to get my shit together. I love and appreciate you guys. I'll see you next time. Be genuine. Take care of one another.